Welcome back to BT. Running into a burning building, the scene of a car crash, first responders experience things many of, many of us never hope to see. And it's incredibly taxing on their mental health. But a new program has been developed by clinical psychologist Dr. Ma Megan McIron that can help. And she joins me now to talk about it, along with two Calgary firefighters who've taken the program, Jamie Hannaford and Aaron Johnston. Good morning to both of you and all of you. Thank you so much for being here. This Good is morning. great to have yes. you on. Thank you for having me. So, Megan, why don't we sort of break down exactly what this boss program as it's called is all about so the boss program was developed to try to be an upstream uh, resiliency based program for first responders um, trying to give first responders um, education that's going to help them stay psychologically healthy as they do their jobs um, but in a group based therapeutic format so we're really trying to provide them useful information education um, but also help them form different relationships with their peers again to try them to stay healthier doing their jobs oh that's so interesting so a big part of this is this group dynamic is getting everybody together to do this together what does that do for these people well the biggest thing that we think it's going to do is it's going to decrease the shame and the stigma of talking about the mental health problems that is really common for a first responder to experience so being able to be with people who know the job um, and can relate to the actual sort of lived experience but also be able to talk about you know the emotional and the psychological realities of what that job can do for sure because yeah. it's so different than many of the jobs that we're doing on a daily basis it's incredibly stressful That's it's amazing so Jamie just tell me a little bit about your experience you've done the program what did you think of it I thought the program was fantastic so I think when you're going through a mental health issues sometimes you feel alone you feel isolated sure um, you know you don't always you know know that there's other people out there going through the same struggles that you're going through so by going through BOS and connecting with other firefighters and doing the group dynamics it uh, really helps you connect with people that may be going through the same experiences absolutely and what does that mean for you and the work that you do and staying on the job oh incredibly important yeah. right uh, for us um, I think you know we're exposed uh, to so many things uh, in our careers that you know taking care of mental health is such a big issue for us you know allows us to you know be able to maintain our high level of efficiency at our job you know when we take care of the mental health uh, aspects it has a huge impact absolutely yeah. Aaron you've also done the program what did you make of it uh, it's fantastic as well I'd echo everything Jamie had said it was uh, a great program great experience and uh, definitely shifts I think perspective at the end of the day mm -hmm. um, a very healthy perspective as well and uh, makes you a little bit more open to talking about things and uh, and both taking care of like our physical health is a priority for sure. us all the time obviously and um, um, our mental health probably should be even over and above that and it's, right it's and they're so intimately us. connected too right oh, the mind and the body yeah. right yeah. yeah it's kind of given us the the tools there to help uh, a make that connection for us and then the tools there to, to maintain that for the rest of our career right? absolutely have you seen a shift in the culture in the firehouse and like is this something that they're now talking about because of this program uh, it def definitely is helping right mm -hmm. every little bit helps and uh, like any culture anywhere any industry it takes a long time to of course transition that yeah. but uh, it's it's definitely going in the right direction right and, and Thankfully for you guys uh, getting us on here too, hopefully that, that helps push that 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 way. helps push that yeah, forward. You bet. You bet. So Megan, this is something that you're already getting a great response to right across the board as well. You want to roll it out right across the country. That's right. So we have um, national support from Wounded Warriors Canada. So they're providing um, the funding support for us to disseminate this. They are a national charity. And so we are, we've started this in Calgary, Alberta, but we um, are going to be delivering this across the country over the rest of this year and the years to come. So um, we just ran a program in Ontario. We have a couple more here in Alberta starting in October, um, out in BC starting in November. So our hope is that we're going to be touching as many first responders across the country as we can. And that's, that again is thanks to Wind Warriors Canada. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you all for being here this morning and telling us all about it. It sounds amazing. Yes, thank you so much for having thank us.